Hi everyone, welcome to another video from Not Real Engineering. And in this video, we are going to do pressure vessel analysis using axisymmetric formulation in Abacus CA. Also, in this video, we will see how to use amplitude when we have to define a boundary condition which changes with time. But before I go into today's example, let me just quickly give you overview of pressure vessel analysis. This picture over here shows a typical cylindrical pressure vessel which contains a high pressure gas or liquid inside this. Whenever we do pressure vessel analysis, we are typically interested in three types of stresses which are acting on a pressure vessel. So if you take a vertical section like this, you will find a stress along axial direction, which is known as axial stress or longitudinal stress. Then if you take a vertical section, something like this, then you will find the stress which is along circumferential direction, which is also known as hoop stress. And finally, if you see the thickness of pressure vessel, you will find stress acting along radial direction. So then depending upon the direction of weld, we will decide which stress is a critical stress. As an example for weld like this, the axial stress will be critical stress. But if weld is something like this, then hoop stress will be critical stress. And broadly, we categorize pressure vessels into these two categories. One is thin pressure vessel, where the thickness of this pressure vessel is less than diameter of pressure vessel by 20. And another category is thin pressure vessels, where the thickness is greater than diameter by 20. The reason to divide pressure vessels into these two categories is when the thickness of cylinder is very thin compared to diameter, we don't observe any radial stress. So radial stress is zero and hoop stress and axial stress is constant over the thickness. And those can be found out by these two formulas, which are very simple formulas. But for thick pressure vessel, the radial stress will not be zero. And also this hoop stress and radial stress, they will not be constant over thickness. As you can see over here, the hoop stress changes as you go along the thickness of cylinder. At the innermost point, hoop stress is maximum and at the outermost point, it is minimum. Similarly for radial stress, the radial stress is maximum at innermost point and it becomes zero at outermost point. And you can see it is in negative direction, which means it is compressive in nature. And axial stress is constant throughout the thickness. And I'm not sure if you can see over here, but this is not a linear relation as well. So if you try to find formulas for hoop stress, axial stress and radial stress for thick pressure vessel, you can of course get an analytical solution, but that will not be this simple. Those formulas are much complicated. That's why I'm not including them over here. When you do pressure vessel analysis in Abacus, you don't have to worry about this because Abacus will always consider it as a thick pressure vessel and it will not do assumptions which we do for thin pressure vessels. Now let's start with today's example. What we are going to simulate is we are going to pressurize this cylinder. Then we will hold that pressure for some time and then again we will take that pressure out. If you plot a graph of pressure inside this cylinder with respect to time, you will get something like this. You can see initially in first 60 seconds, we are pressurizing the cylinder. The pressure will reach at 1.5 megapascal. Then for next almost four minutes, we will hold that pressure. And at 300 seconds, we will start to take some gas out. And after one minute, the inside pressure will be 0.75. Again, we will hold that pressure for next four minutes. And finally, we will take all the pressure out and the pressure will reach back to zero. If you write this in a tabular form, this is how it will look. Time is in seconds and this amplitude is nothing but pressure in megapascal. And for our cylinder, the weld is like this. So for us, critical stress is the stress in axial direction. So axial stress will be our interest. Now using axis symmetry, we can convert this three dimensional problem into two dimensional problem like this. I have given all the necessary dimensions over here. Just remember all dimensions are in millimeters and thickness of the cylinder is 10 millimeter. After that, for boundary condition, we will just provide a roller support for this bottom face, which means it is like cylinder is kept on a ground and it will have internal pressure, which will vary according to this graph. We are going to assume material as steel and we will use only elastic properties because main aim of this video is to demonstrate how to apply variable boundary condition using amplitude and how to use axis symmetry to solve a pressure vessel analysis. We will stick with SI MM unit system, which is shown over here. And let's start with Abacus CA. First set up your working directory and then create part. I am going to name it pressure vessel. It should be axis symmetric shell. 
now we have to draw this cross section in the first quadrant over here so i will keep origin 0 0 at the bottom most left corner of this cross section first i will create some points which we will need starting from 0 0 then 0 10 then 75 0 next 75 10 and then we can close these points by a line then keep going with points 75 25 which will serve as a center for arc over here then 125 90 25 then using this create arc command first you have to select the center starting point of arc and end point of arc again one more time this is our arc then keep going with points next is 100 400 then 90 400 again draw the lines next center of arc will be 0 400 and other two endpoints 0 490 and 0 500 close this over here and again arc this will be the center starting point end point one more time center starting point end point say ok and your part is ready next go to property create material steel go to mechanical elastic properties young's modulus is 200 gigapascal don't forget to convert into megapascal poison's ratio is 0 0.3 create a section again steel say ok and assign that section to our part next go to assembly create a instance next go to step create a static general step now total time of our simulation is 660 seconds so enter that over here in time period and then in increment i am going to reduce this initial increment to 1 minimum i think that is ok and maximum i am going to keep it as 10 also i will increase this number of increments to 1000 say ok next go to load now let's provide a roller support at the bottom face u2 equal to 0 so this is a roller support at bottom face and then we will apply a pressure which is internal pressure of gas along all internal faces so by pressing shift you can select multiple surfaces say ok then magnitude keep it as 1 and we have to enter amplitude over here so click on this create amplitude button you can name the amplitude i am going to keep it as amplitude 1 select type tabular say continue and over here you have to enter this table so i just entered this table over here you can choose over here step time or total time it doesn't matter because we have only one step but if you have multiple steps then you have to select appropriately over here say ok select that amplitude which you just created amplitude 1 and say ok you can see the internal pressure is applied then go to mesh go to part now to get a structured mesh it's better if we do some partitions therefore go to this partition face using sketch and i'm just going to partition out the curved geometries so one partition over here and two partitions over here say ok then go to mesh controls select the part and select structured mesh with quad elements next seed the part let's say with 2 say ok mesh it and you can see it is mesh now then again go to mesh go to element type and just make sure it has axisymmetric elements yes that is axisymmetric stress elements say ok now before we create a job i'm just going to create one history output for one point over here just some node and we will track its displacement with respect to time 
for that go into assembly first and double click on this sets to create a set i'm going to name it as point set a node set i'm going to select say continue and just select any node over here say done once the set is created go to this history output double click on this create a history output over here select set again over here our point set and i'm just going to track displacements and that also displacement in x direction so just u1 say okay then create a job pressure vessel say continue say okay and that's it submit it job is done let's go into results i am going to hide the mesh using this common plot options go into just feature edges say apply this looks much better right next you can see the deformed plot using this now make sure the deformation scale factor is 1 first to check if our amplitude was applied correctly or not go into this create xy data go into odb history output say continue and over here you can find the displacement which we requested on our point set say plot and you can see over here the displacement is varying with respect to time and the shape of this variation is exactly same as our amplitude which means our amplitude was applied correctly then as i said our area of interest is this weld so we want to make sure this weld doesn't fail and the stress which will cause failure of this weld is stress in axial direction which means sigma yy so go over here and select s22 and you can select the frame when the pressure is maximum which will be around this step 14 or something like that you can see over here the axial stress is around 7.8 megapascal therefore our weld must sustain this stress of 7.8 megapascal of course we have to consider factor of safety as well but this is the minimum value of stress which our weld must sustain one cool thing is you can represent these 2d results into 3d results for that go into this odb display options go into sweep or extrude and over here you can sweep the elements by 360 degrees so select 360 over here and say apply and this number of segments also increase maybe let's say 100 and now you can see the 3d representation of our pressure vessel so s22 will be axial stress you can check s11 which will be the radial stress and you can check s33 which is hoop stress if you like this video please show your support by subscribing to this channel which will give me motivation to create more educational videos like these you can also go to channels playlist tab and here you can see all the videos with similar topics combined together for example let's say if you are interested in ansys tutorials you can go to this ansys tutorial playlist and see all the videos from this playlist all the codes and files which i use for these videos are also available for you to directly download from this channel's github profile the link of this profile is given in the description box below if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. And as always, thank you for watching.